sit at home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How are you spending your time in quarantine? Mm, trying to keep busy. Mm -hmm. Um, I have a new puppy, so he's keeping me busy. Oh, cute. Um. Yeah, he's adorable, but he's in a very naughty stage. He's just knocked down, like, my award stand. Yeah. <laughs> so my awards have just fell off, and I'm like, oh, God, it's, like, it's hard work, but he's cute, so he gets away with it. Um, <laughs> I've been knitting, cooking, baking, jigsaw puzzles, just loads of stuff to keep my mind going. <laughs> Great, that's good. I saw your musical interpretations there. <laughs> 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 thank you yeah they were good fun to do to be fair there's nothing else to do so why not yeah right. um we have a lot of fan questions i'm gonna show you some right now mm -hmm. and it would be great if you could answer them sure mm -hmm. sorry Hi. one second yeah Hi. Hi. it's just hatchy wondering to be in <laughs> Okay, so this one, do you want me to do this one? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so what is your favorite Little Mix music video and why? I think my favorite ever, ever, ever <laughs> is Shout Out to My Ex. Oh, that's a great one, yeah. Yeah, wow. it was the most fun ever. It was just so good. We were in Spain, we were in the desert, and <laughs> um, it was just unbearably hot <laughs> and hard work but it was just so funny. Like all we did was laugh. We had so much fun. Like those are my favorite times with the girls. Like when everything's just funny and everything's like just great. Yeah. Um, it was a really happy time. It was really good. I loved it. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> you also have another um, kind of breakup song. Um, and someone's asking if you're gonna release new more songs. Yes. Yeah. Um, so obviously we were nearly finished with the album until the whole quarantine situation happened. So it's kind of going to take us a little bit of time to finish it. But luckily we have second single all ready to go. Oh, great. Um, and it's amazing. It's <laughs> so good. It's so, so, so good. So really good. Yeah. That's all I can say. It's a surprise. It's a secret. <laughs> We'll wait. <laughs> what song do you prefer? Breakup song or shout out to my ex? Oh. Ooh, this is tricky. I think yeah. shout out obviously came at a very good time. I feel mm -hmm. like it was so anthemic and everybody just loved it. And it was one of our biggest songs. So I feel so lucky to have that song. And um, I love it. And I never get tired of performing it. And it's so fun. But breakup songs so boppy as well. Like, obviously, we haven't done it live yet. So mm -hmm. I can't wait to do that one live. Because I think it would be so good. Okay, great. I'm excited. Do you know when you're going to go on tour? Or do you still not know? Um, so our summer shows are still penciled in as if they're happening. Mm -hmm. But we don't know. We don't know anything right now. So I'm kind of just waiting to see what happens. Yeah. Um, I had a fun question, but I can't find it right now. So <laughs> take another similar one. <laughs> um, someone asked if you can describe your album. Ooh. Okay, so I think it is fun. Mm -hmm. It's um, a little bit poppy. Mm -hmm. It's feel good. It's a little sassy. It's just great. It's so good. Like, I'm not even just saying it. We were on such a roll making it. It was just coming so natural. There's yeah. some absolute bops on there to mm -hmm. the point where we, we haven't fully decided like which single's going to be when because they're all so good. Yeah. So, yeah, I think our fans and I think everybody's going to love it. They're very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> do you miss your girls do i miss them yes <laughs> so much it's so weird like not being with them all the time because yeah. we're together 24 7 so just feels really bizarre um but we message every day we talk every day so <laughs> yeah that's good 
What's your happiest memory with the girls? Someone's asking. Oh, happiest memory. Oh, this is hard. We've got so many yeah. happy memories. Mm, my favorite times with the girls and the things that make me the happiest are probably when I look back on our time together, like as just a four. So whenever we're like on tour or promoting around Europe or traveling to America, like we'll all go to one of like our rooms at the hotel and we'll order loads of room service and hang out and watch a movie and gossip and yeah. that's like my favorite time to be with the girls because we're just enjoying each other's company it's not like work or anything we're just mm -hmm. enjoying each other's time so it's nice yeah. so you're also very good friends <laughs> yes and we love a sleepover it's just the best <laughs> pretty lit little mix sleepovers what food do you order when you like sit all together and do a girls night Oh, well, normally we'll have room service, so it'll be like yeah. me and Jessie will order about five desserts just <laughs> to try each one. Leanne will probably order like a salad or something, yeah, or maybe something naughty when she's feeling naughty. I love it when Leanne's naughty and wants to eat bad food. I get so excited. Um, <laughs> we love a McDonald's. We just yeah. love naughty food, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Um... Uh, wait a second. Which things are you most grateful or thankful for in your life? Oh, so much. I'm a very lucky girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm thankful for my voice. Yeah. Um, my gift. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for the Little Mix girls. Mm -hmm. I'm thankful for my mom. My dad, yeah. Patchy, my boyfriend. I just feel very lucky. I always think that. I wake up every day and think, God, you're a lucky little girl, and ain't you? You're a lucky <laughs> little girl you had. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for a lot of things. I'm thankful for our fans as well, more than anything. They're just the best ever. <laughs> yeah, they're really cute. They yeah. A lot of I can fun. see all their messages. I'm like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's asking, how can you perform, dance, and sing at the same time? I also always think that's crazy. With great difficulty. Yeah. Um, lots of running while singing. <laughs> um, and our vocal coach, Josh, he does so much work with us. He's incredible. Like, mm -hmm. I absolutely adore him. He's brilliant. And he makes us run around the, like, the dance studio in circles. Mm -hmm constantly just singing the choruses singing the choruses it's like boot camp it's really hard but it's fun so it's good and we build up stamina the more we do it on tour so the first few shows i'm like <gasps> and then halfway through i'm like ah got it <laughs> <laughs> so you get kind of used to it yeah um, it takes time but we get there <laughs> so, what's your favorite song to perform live Ooh, do you know what? I think one of my favorites to do live is probably Secret Love Song. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I love one, I love that song. Two, it gets such a good reaction from everybody. Three, I love to be able to sing, like I like to sing. So obviously when we dance and sing, it's quite hard to, you know, mm -hmm. show off the vocal cords. So Secret yeah. Love Song just stood there singing. It's just so nice to me. I love it. But if I'm feeling poorly, it's the worst song to perform. Because I just okay. struggle so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh, guys, drop it from the set list, will ya? I can't <laughs> sing it. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Someone's asking, um, how did you get the idea of the musical episodes on your Instagram? <laughs> Ooh. Um, okay, so it originally started because Ellie... Um, my best friend slash cousin who I live with, we normally mm -hmm. like just sing together and put on like plays for just the two who did Oliver. Yeah. And I do like, um, would you like my show? And she goes, anything. So I'm Nancy and she's Oliver. <laughs> and then we just mess around in the house, like just having fun with it. And then um, she was like, why don't you do a proper one? And then put it out and then my mom was like yeah can you keep us entertained please can you do some musicals and this and that and i did it as like a joke at yeah. first 
and then everyone was like you should just post it it's really good the fans will love it so yeah it's a bit nerdy but, <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun yeah um also a question i always ask myself <clears throat> how do you decide who's gonna sing which part of the song Ooh, <laughs> um it used to be quite easy back in the day mm -hmm. um i think we kind of knew who would sing what bit and it was quite predictable almost because we just knew yeah. um but then now it's we switch it up a lot more um mm -hmm. so it, it everybody gets a chance to do low everyone gets a chance to sing high i'm not just the one singing the big ad libs at the end mm -hmm. i actually sing a verse now <laughs> um but yeah it's just nice to switch it up it's nice to keep things interesting otherwise it gets a bit dull you know Uh, what made you want to sing? <clears throat> um, probably my mum and dad, because they mm -hmm. sing. Um, so I guess that's just all I've ever been used to. And yeah. movies like Sister Act, um, mm -hmm. artists like Christina Aguilera, Mariah, Celine Dion, like all mm -hmm. the divas. Um, yeah, I've just always, always, always wanted to sing. It's, just in, it's in my bones, it's in my heart. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's asked uh, a lot of questions. I like this. <clears throat> give a little spoiler of a song from the new album, or maybe just one word from a lyric. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to give too much away. I know what I'm like. I'll end up singing the whole song. Um. Oh, I've got a good one. <clears throat> All right, I'll hum it. I mean, I've just woke up, so it's going to sound a bit rusty. Okay. <clears throat> that sounds great. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to get told off for, for that, probably. But you can't tell what that was. <laughs> Then, if you could do it with another girl, who would you choose with another artist, maybe? I think Anne-Marie. Oh, great. Yeah, nice we well. absolutely love her. So, yeah, yeah Anne-Marie. Okay. Um. Ah, yeah, right. That's a good question. What sounds does LM6 have? Any more 80s vibes? Because Breakup Song also was a little bit of, had this 80s touch. Mm. Um, gosh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> mm. I don't know. <laughs> now, I can't think. I'm trying to think of like, second single, third single. Mm-hmm. I think they're all quite different, but mm -hmm. vibey. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if there's a lot more 80s influences right now. There probably is. I just can't really think. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I'm going to choose an easy question for mm -hmm. like the next one. Okay. Who do you miss most in quarantine? My mom. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. The most. It's so crap. Like, I miss her so much. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like I, I miss everyone, mm -hmm. but my mom is, like, essential. Like, she's in need. Yeah. You know? So when she's not there, I'm like, oh, I hate it. I'm such a baby. Oh, <laughs> I understand that. I also, like, didn't see my mom for two months or so. Yeah. It's so hard, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But it's, you know, we're doing the right thing. I think we've just got to keep them safe, so... We'll yeah. mi we miss them, but it's fine. We'll see them soon. <laughs> Very good. What was your biggest dream as a child? Biggest dream as a child? <laughs> Asa. <laughs> Asa, you cracked me up. I miss, um, sorry, just quickly going back on that. I really miss my um, hairstylist, um, oh. Aaron Carlo. Um, he <laughs> means a lot to me also. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah. 
Was he in the comments? <laughs> yeah, he was in the comments, <laughs> popping off, sending me hate mail. Um, sorry, your last question was, what was it? Um, what was your biggest dream as a child? <laughs> My biggest dream as a child yeah. was actually, I mean, it's a bit pathetic, but um, <laughs> when I was like younger my <laughs> obsession was Hannah Montana oh. um so Miley Cyrus was like everything to me because I just wanted yeah. to be a yeah. pop star and live a normal life so mm -hmm. she had it all you know she just yeah. had it all and it was like her 16th birthday I think and she had it at Disneyland mm -hmm. and I remember watching it thinking right I don't want to sing in front of people because it's terrifying. I'm not really, I'm probably not going to be a pop star, but if there's anything to do, it should yeah. try and become a pop star just so you could have a party at Disneyland. That was like my thought process. It wasn't like, oh, get rich and famous. It was like, if I make it, maybe I could go to Disneyland. That's what I thought. <laughs> so that was my dream. <laughs> Have you been to Disneyland? Yeah. Yes, so many times. I think I went like five times in one year um, yeah. to Disneyland Paris. Um, it's just so good. I love it so much. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, I think our time is running out. So I'm going to get the last question, maybe. Have you written some songs during quarantine and isolation? Um... Well, I wouldn't say I've written like a good amount of stuff we could use, but I do normally hear a phrase or a good a concept idea and I'll write it in my notes. So I do often make a lot of notes, but I haven't actually sat down and wrote any decent songs lately. Yeah. So, yeah, I should probably get on that really. Okay, great. So maybe <laughs> do, you have, do you have an advice for our <clears throat> viewers and readers? Um, what they should do to stay sane during quarantine? Um, I think try and stay positive. I know that's what everyone keeps saying. And it's like, oh, same shit. But, <laughs> oops, I mean, same too. But, um, I think it's just keeping your, your mind occupied, keeping yourself busy, and just realizing and remembering that everybody is in the same position. It isn't just you. You shouldn't feel claustrophobic because everybody in the world is doing the same thing and we're doing it for a reason to keep yeah. everybody safe to help out all the care workers and the doctors and the nurses and everybody trying to help mm -hmm. so it's really important but just remember we're all in this together yeah so we're gonna be okay that's very good and <laughs> last but not least um do you have an advice for a serious or good film you like to watch right now money heist yeah is the best ever <laughs> Um, I and I have Disney Plus, so I'm fully obsessed with everything on there. So I'm going back yeah. to the, the classics, like That's All Raven, Lizzie McGuire, all that stuff. Great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good time. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we're very excited for your, the next album. And stay safe. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, everyone. Love you all. Mwah. Bye. That's a love. Bye. <laughs> Danke euch fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, euch hat es gefallen. Äh, ich finde es schön, dass ihr sich so viel Zeit genommen habt und so viele Fragen beantwortet habt. Danke auch für die ganzen Fragen. Äh, es war wirklich schwer, sich da für eine zu entscheiden. Und ja, wir sehen uns gleich in ein paar Stunden wieder. Beziehungsweise nicht erst. Meine lieben Kolleginnen werden die nächsten Livestreams machen. Und bis dann. Ciao.